Hear that? That, my friend, is the wind. As you know, I'm sitting here in Hammond Valley Community Church, which is a building in progress. This church was built on the top of a hill. Now, the name would give you the impression that's in the valley, but it's not in the valley. It's overlooking the valley. So if you look out, out the window, you can see lots of flies. You can see great scenery. You know, one of the things about being on the top of a hill is not only do you get to see a lot more, but you also get to feel a lot more. As you're exposed to the elements, what's going on in the world really be, has an impact on, on you physically. And as I was thinking about that, I was really seeing mountaintop experiences with God from a different perspective. A lot of times we have these mountaintop experiences with God and we see it as we, we see God. And we focus on that and our love for God and our intimacy with God grows. But as our love and intimacy for God grows... God calls us to look and see what he sees. See the way he sees. And when we see the world the way God sees it, we don't see the social media presentation of lives. Facebook, Instagram, whatever. Painting our lives as something that, look at me, I've got it all together. We begin to see people from where they're really coming from. And God wants to be, us to be his hands and his feet and be used in their lives, so he gives us a greater understanding of where people are really coming from. I've had people in my life give me a phone call and say, Tim, I was praying, and God just laid it on my heart to pray for you. Are you okay? You don't know how many times I've been in the middle of something, and I've been struggling with something, and God just gave somebody else, in their mountaintop experience, a greater understanding of what was really going on in, the, in my world so that they could have a positive impact and be used of God. That's what God wants for us. We're, especially in North America, really not in tune with this whole mystic idea of God, but God is spirit, and God moves in ways that Physically, we don't, but spiritually, he wants us to. So when we're on those mountaintop experiences, God wants us to feel what's going on. God wants us to have a greater sense of what's going on in our environment. So when we go down, we are able to see the fields that are white into harvest. We are able to see what it's going to take to reap that harvest for God. It's easy to stay focused on our lives. It's easy to feel the elements and see and get a sense of this is how it's impacting me. But when God gives us a sense of what's going on, he wants to have us, give us a sense of what he wants us to do in the lives of the people that we come in contact with. I hope that's an encouragement to you. Because I bet for some of you right now, God wants you to have an intimacy with him because there's people that he wants to use you in their lives. Hope that's an encouragement to you. God bless you. We'll talk to you soon.